Warmest greetings to all my incredible subscribers and new viewers alike. Greetings, viewers. Get ready to immerse yourself in the world of El Cia de los Celos in this video. El Cia de los Celos in English, Lord of the Skies is an American crime drama television series created by Luis Zelkowicz, based on an original idea by Mario Mocoloso and Andres Lopez. It premiered on Telemundo on 15 April 2013. The series is based on the life and work of Amado Carrello Fuentes, the former leader of the Juarez Cartel. It stars Rafael Amaya as the titular character, Araya Casillas. The series has won several awards including, International Emmy Award for Non-English Language as Primetime Program. Premiers to Mundo for Novla or Serie of the Year for three consecutive years. In May 2023, Telemundo renewed the series for a ninth season. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting synopsis and exploring its implications in greater detail. The series follows the life of Aurelio Casillas Rafael Omoya, a drug lord who is recognized for knowing how to transfer drug substances to Mexico, Colombia, and the United States. Aurelio and his wife Ximena Ximena Herrera have three children, Rutila Carmen Orb, Haribato Rusendros, and Las Marina Galamontes. He also has his faithful brother Chacorta Rail Mundes who helps him in all his illicit businesses. Aurelio ends up being cornered by the authorities after being found as he decides to undergo a face operation in which he supposedly dies, thus causing his empire of power to fall. In Season 2, Believed to be dead, Aurelio returns to enact his revenge on police officer Lena Ballestros Carmen Villalobos, who through her fault ends up operating his face in a failed attempt to escape from the authorities. Aurelio meets Victoria Navarra's Marlene Favela, a beautiful woman who throws herself to be the governor of Jalisco. Aurelio, after seeing her actions, falls in love and decides to deceive her by posing as another man and usurping the identity of Danilo Ferro. A character that is then introduced is Jose Michemal Venegas Mauricio Ockman, one of the great enemies of Aureo who decides to take all its power to Aureo. At the end of the season, Lena captures Aureo and lasts several months in prison naval bunker. In season 3, after several months imprisoned in naval bunker in Mexico, Aurelio receives the mutilated head of his brother Chacorta in a box, implying that his brother has died, who gives him reason to wage a war against all his enemies and to look for the murderer of his brother to avenge his death. After all the problems with the government and the DEA, Aurelio learns that he suffers from kidney failure and decides to remember his past in order to find his lost son. In season 4, Aurelio after being cornered by his illness and not finding no relative who lives with him can donate a kidney, decides to undertake a search for all the lovers he had in order to find a lost son who can donate a kidney. After several attempts of searching, Aurelio finds a young man named Ismail of Narana, who can be his salvation. His enemies, after learning of his illness, decide to do everything possible to get Ismail out of the way. When everything seems to take its course and achieve total stability in the world of legal and illegal businesses of our AU, Emiliana Contreras Vanessa Villala appears a beautiful woman sent by Feo Aguilera Leonardo Daniel to be able to make our AU fall, but her mission is to become the lover of our AU to thus be able to finally make the fall of Aurelio's empire. In Season 5, Aurelio will unleash a new war. But this time it will not be against his former rivals and enemies this time, it will be against his own family because of the betrayals he had previously experienced on their part. Later, Aurelio Rafael Omaya will also face a serious illness, which puts at stake his power and prestige since this man fails to get a donor so they can make his transplant necessary to continue living. On the other hand, Monica Fernanda Castillo fights for her life after being rescued from Victor's hands in the middle of their wedding, since while she fled received a shot that apparently is mortal. After being taken from his side, Victor Jorge Luis Moreno searches everywhere to find Monica's whereabouts and continue with her wedding plans. In Season 6, Aurelio Casillas recovered all the lost fortune and finally feels the need to retire. But it is time for retribution, 
The hatred that he sowed since he sold his soul to the drug-trafficking demon is now knocking on his door with the face and blood of the many innocent people he destroyed. Aurelio will understand that his riches are an illusion, and that after being the great hunter he was, he will now become the prey. The women he mistreated, the men he betrayed, the political puppets he put in power, and even his own children will turn against him. In season 7, to avoid falling into the hands of the American justice, Amado Leal El Guila Azul, now Amado Casillas Matas Novoa, has turned himself into Bernardo Castillo Jose Cedic, Secretary of Security of Mexico. The DEA Commissioner, Joe Navarro Guy Eka, has made every attempt to achieve his extradition. What he does not know is that Baltazar Ayeda Eduardo Santa Marina, a CIA agent, has the plan to eliminate Amado before, since he is the only one who can prove that within the organization in which Bodes work together, there is a scheme of corruption and murky management that endangers its existence within it and its freedom. He has already been transferred to jail on the outskirts of the state of Mexico and is about to be taken to the airport, under strict security measures when the Casillas cartel tries to rescue him and Baltazar Ayala himself tries to kill him. In the midst of this tension and in parallel, under the supervision of Doa Alba Lisa Owen and a specialized doctor, they try a risky procedure to revive Aurelio Rafael Omoya. Season 8 centers on the return of Aurelio Casillas, who supposedly died at the beginning of the previous season after falling into a coma following an attempt on his life. It is only the DEA who knows that Aurelio is alive, having hidden him in the desert. In enacting his plan of revenge, Aurelio establishes connections with old allies, while also facing new romances and uncovering family mysteries. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of cast and characters and explore its various aspects. Rafael Omaya as Aurelio Casillas Seasons 8, Guest Season 7, Guest Appearance in El Chamar, the main protagonist of the series, and also made a guest appearance in El Chamar Ximena Herrera as Ximena Letran Seasons Robinson does as Milton Jimenez Po Jose Valdivia El Cabo Season 1, Recurring Season 2, 8, Special Guest Star Season 5, Rail Mondays as Victor Casillas Chacorta Seasons, Carmen Villalobos as Lena Ballesteros, Mireles Seasons, Gabriel Poros as Marco Cartagena, Major Season 1, Mauricio Ockman as Jose Mara Venegas, Medieval El Chema Seasons, Special Guest Stars Season 1, the main protagonist in the spin-off series of El Chema. Alberto Guerra as Jose Maravenegas Mindivil El Chema Season 6, Recurring Season 7 Fernanda Castillo as Monica Robles Editor Seasons, Recurring Season 1, she also made a guest appearance in the spin-off series of El Chema Marlene Favela as Victoria Nobres Lagoba Season 2 Carmen Orb as Rutila Casillas Letran Seasons, Recurring Season 2, guest appearance in the spin-off series of El Chema. Tarina Angel as Child Rutila Season 1. Anna Sofadoran as Child Rutila Season 2. Marita Rodgues as Amparo Rojas Seasons. Sabrina Sierra as Esperanza Solvatera Courtney Seasons. Recurring Season 3. Vanessa Villala as Emiliana Contreras Courtney Seasons. Guest appearance in the spin off series of El Chema Marisela Gonzalez as Eunice Lara La Felina Season 5. Recurring Seasons 4. 8. Main role in Season 2 of Lado Mariana Sone as Mabel Castello Ninan de La Ville Season 5. Main role in the spin-off series of El Chema Miguel Varoni as Leandro Quisada Season Dieca as Joe Navarro Seasons 9 El Conde as Mar de los Ingels Evelina Lopez Seasons Carlos Bardem as Don Leonidas Chibo E. Moda Season 6 Former candidate for the Governor of Coahuila Alejandro Lopez Silva as El Spiavi Season 6 8. Recurring Seasons 7. Guest appearance in the spin-off series of El Chema Francisco Gatineau as Gustavo Casasola Season 6 Jess Moore as Omar Turin Robles Season 6 Recurring Seasons Guest appearance in the spin-off series of El Chema Lisa Owen as Doa Albert Casillas Season 6 Recurring Seasons 5. 
Isabella Castillo as Diana A. Modern Season, Mark Inchita Alonso as Nora Requeen Season 6, Matas Nuvoa as Amodo Casillas, Leal El Buila as All Season, Ivnaran as Ismail Casillas, Guerra Season, Recurring Seasons, Guest Appearance in the Spin Off Series of El Chama Hector Benilla as Arturo as El Rayo Season 6, Roberto Escobar as Jose Romero Valdez Season 6, Recurring Season 7, Eduardo Santa Marina as Balthazar Ie Season 7, Recurring Season 6 Dana Darker as Violetta Estrella Season 7 Robin Tortada as Fernando Aguirre Season 8 Ifrika Zawala as Mika de la Cruz Season 8 Yuri Bugas as Tracy Lobo Season 8 As we enter this new phase, let's analyze production from different angles and evaluate its significance. In May 2012, the series was presented at Telmundo's Upfront for the television season. In June 2012, Rafael Moya was cast in the lead role. Filming of the series began on 16 January 2013. On 15 February 2022, Telemundo announced that the series had been renewed for an eighth season that premiered on 17 January 2023. On 11 May 2023, Telemundo renewed the series for a ninth season. Let's now turn our attention to crossovers and examine its role within the larger context. Alcia de los Silos is known for taking place in the same universe as other famous narconovelas like El Chema spin-off with Alcia de los Silos, Sierra Acero, Queen of the South, the English adaptation of La Reina del Sur, Pablo Escobar, El Patron del Mal, Duos del Paso and La Doa. In the season 1 of El Cia de los Silos, Pablo Escobar and Para from Pablo Escobar, El Patron del Mal appears as a recurring character. In Sierra Acero, Areo Casillas Rafael Omoya, the protagonist of El Cia de los Silos appeared in three episodes, two of the first season and one in the second season. Areo also appears in the English adaptation of La Reina del Sur entitled Queen of the South, in which Aurelio Casillas is a big rival to Teresa Mendoza Alice Brogger, the main protagonist of Queen of the South and the head of Mendoza Cartel. Later Aurelio appeared in the sequel of the series El Cia de los Silos, titled El Chema. The character appears in few episodes of the series. In the fifth season of El Cia de los Silos, there is a crossover with Duos del Paraso when the main villain of Duos del Paraso, Leandro Quezada Miguel Varoni, the head of Santa Norma Cartel or Cartel de Santa Norma goes to war against Aurelio Casillas for the control of drug trafficking and becomes the fiercest opponent that Aurelio Casillas has ever faced. In the sixth season of El Cia de los Silos, there is a crossover with La Doa when the protagonist and main character of La Doa, Alta Gracia Sandoval or La Doa Arsli Umbua becomes an unexpected ally of the main character and protagonist of El Cia de los Silos, Areo Casillas or Cia de los Silos Rafael Omoya after returning to Mexico after fleeing to France after the events in La Doa. Another crossover between El Cia de los Silos and La Doa occurs in the second season when the characters Eunice Lara Lofelina Morris Le Gonzalez and Amodu Casillas El Guila as Almatas Nuvoa, two of the main characters of El Cia de los Silos become recurring characters in La Doa. Now, let's shift our focus to related media and embark on an intellectual exploration of its various dimensions. During the broadcast of the second season, Telemundo published a comic based on the second season of the series, portraying part of the plot of the series. In September 2014, the character played by Rafael Omoya appeared in the series Sierra Acero in the first two episodes of the series as a special guest. In November 2015 returned to have a special participation in the series in an episode with Ana Lucia Dominguez. The character of Aurelio has appeared twice in the adaptation of La Reina del Sur, titled Queen of the South. In the next portion, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of spin-off and examining its broader implications. Telemundo confirmed on May 15, 2016, that the series would see a spin-off based upon actor Mauricio Ockman's character El Chema. El Chema premiered on December 6, 2016. Brace yourself for an enlightening exploration of our opening theme as we dive into its profound implications. 
all songs in the series are composed by Marco Flores and performed by Cardinals de Nuevo Lean. In the first season, the main theme was El Gif de Tudus. For the second season, the opening theme song was changed to El Verde de Gif de Tudus. In the third season, the song was composed around the main character of the series and is titled Aureo Casillas. In the fourth season, the song of the main theme was changed to El Cuarto Corrido. In the fifth season, the opening theme titled El Quinto Corrido, this time performed by Don Cheo, member of the band Cardinals de Nuevo Lean. In the eighth season, the opening theme is titled Hayabamola Numkamor, performed by Los Tucans de Tuona. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, let's unpack the layers of ratings and examine its core elements. Link equal list of El Cia de los Silos episode season 6 2018 episode is equal 99 start equal store trading equal to point one four end equal end rating equal to point zero six viewers equal. Link equal list of El Cia de los Silos episode season 7 2019 episode is equal 75 start equal store trading equal 1.99 end equal end rating equal 1.32 viewers equal. Link equal list of El Cia de los Silos episode season 8 2023 time slit equal 39 pm time slit length equal 1 episode is equal 88 start equal store trading equal 1.62 end equal end rating equal 1.3 viewers equal. Notes. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from my channel.